Good morning and thank you all for joining us here today. I'm County Executive Calvin Ball and I appreciate you all being here for this important announcement. The need for additional school capacity has been a pressing issue in Howard County for years. Over half of our 42 elementary schools are projected to exceed 100% capacity utilization in the upcoming 2021-2022 school year and have been for quite some time. The challenge is readily apparent right where we are here today. In the northern region of our county where all six of our elementary schools are projected to be above 100 percent capacity utilization. Capacity issues in the northern region are not a new challenge as all six of our elementary schools have been above 100 percent capacity utilization in six of the last eight years. All of our students and educators deserve the very best teaching and learning environment in which to thrive. And that's why today I'm pleased to announce that we've secured the land behind me to build the Turf Valley Elementary School. That will be our 44th elementary school, and I am so proud that through our collaborative efforts, we were able to get here today. The acquisition of land to construct Turf Valley Elementary School has been a long time coming. The need for an elementary school here at Turf Valley was identified as far back as 2015. In 2016, our school system requested that the county assess the viability of purchasing property here in Turf Valley. In November of 2017, the county announced its intent to purchase property at Turf Valley. However, as late as 2018 in December, little had been done beyond identifying a glaring need and an interest in buying the property. Contracts still needed to be negotiated and the complete funding needed to still be secured to make this purchase a reality. We all went to work to address this issue, negotiating with our partners at Turf Valley and budgeting funds over multiple budget years to deliver on this important promise. This May, I proposed the final $2 million needed to secure the property and successfully fought to gain council approval of this funding in this year's budget. Collectively, we were able to defeat an amendment proposing to cut this purchase from our budget. And finally, we were able to deliver the remaining investment needed to make this purchase and this future needed elementary school closer to reality. With the execution of the agreement of sale and closing completed just this past Friday, we have finally secured this 10 acre site investing $5.75 million to secure the land for Howard County's 44th Elementary School. This acquisition builds on our record of significant collaboration and investment in critical school construction projects. And we have been we've remained focused on addressing infrastructure and school capacity. And by taking action at both the county and the state level and supporting our partners at the state level to pass the Build to Learn Act, and I'd like to thank Senator Katie Fry Hester. We have created more funding to construct new schools and maintain existing school facilities. These actions have allowed us to provide historic levels of funding to capital projects for our school system. Since taking office, we provided nearly $60 million per year to support school capital projects allowing our top three priority school projects in the Howard County Public School System, New High School 13, Talbot Springs Elementary School, and Hammond High School to move forward with construction. Our commitment to our schools is clear with this level of funding for school construction representing an average annual increase of nearly 25 percent over previous years. I want to thank again our school system, our Board of Education, 
our county council, our state delegation, and the Mangione family and all of our partners here at Turf Valley for their collaboration in moving this project forward. We're looking forward to the continued partnership to prepare and support our ready and successful children by ensuring that all of our students and educators have the very best environment in which to thrive and become their very best selves. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here today to bring greetings on behalf of the entire Howard County um, State Delegation. My name is Senator Katie Fry Hester and I represent District 9, which you are standing in. So welcome to District 9. Um, over the past, you know, three and four years, I've knocked on doors and I've, our office has gotten numerous calls and emails about uh, the importance of, of our schools. And education is always top of mind. In Howard County, people move here because of the quality of our public school systems. I'm also particularly pleased that this really important purchase comes at a time when the legislature has overrode the governor's veto of the blueprint for Maryland's future, freeing up $2 billion of state funding over 10 years for school construction. Because of the bill and the actions of the legislature this year, Howard County will be receiving $132 million um, over the next 10 years for projects just like this one. We're passing these important pieces of legislation because we understand that educating our kids is making sure, is part of educating our kids, is making sure that they have an environment that supports their learning. It's making sure that teachers don't have too many kids in their classroom and that making a modern, state-of-the-art school keeps our kids excited and engaged. Construction of elementary schools like this will also make sure that we have the capacity to deliver on the Blueprint's voluntary full pre-K for all four-year-olds and three-year-olds from low-income families across Howard County. That's super exciting as a mom. I want to thank the County Executive, Superintendent Moderano, Council, council members, um, Board of Education members, and local officials who worked so hard to make this a reality. Uh, this project is a long time coming. The community has been voicing concerns about overcrowding for a while. I think a few years ago there were a lot of yellow t-shirts out there in the county council rooms. Um, it's been a quality of life issue, frankly, for the children of the Northwest. Um, they and their families had had to deal with long bus rides um, and also uh, repurposing spaces. Uh, in, in some places they're in the media room, you know, making do, getting great Howard County education. But there comes a time when we can't redistrict anymore, when we can't repurpose, and, and we need to reimagine facilities, and we actually need to build. So this is really, really exciting. Um, once again, thank you to the county executive, Dr. Martirano, the Board of Education, our county council members. Because of you and the state, our children will have a brighter future because of projects like this, and that's really important. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Delegate Reed Novotny, uh, pleasure to be here today. I want to talk to you really quickly just about being a parent. And uh, we've all gone through some troubling times with our education system over the last year. And this just reaffirms to me that Howard County and all of our state officials have the main point in mind that they want to make sure that our in-person, in-school, brick and mortar schools are funded so our students will go to school in person. I think this is a great reaffirmation as we're going out of this COVID period and I wish this project the best success for delivery to be on time and under budget. Thank you so much. Good morning everyone. Good morning Dr. Ball, our county executive, members of our state delegation, fellow members of the county council, Board of Education members and colleagues. Thank you for the invitation and opportunity to provide remarks on behalf of the Howard County Council. Today we celebrate the acquisition announcement of a much needed elementary school in the northern region of our county here in Turf Valley. This site marks the county's next elementary school for our most impressionable future leaders. In May, during the annual budget process, I was honored to vote in favor of allocating an additional $2 million to secure the land for this elementary school. Moreover, making this academic necessity a reality for teachers, students, 
and families in our communities. As an educator, I'm thrilled about this announcement for the betterment of our students. Our commitment to our children's budding educational foundations is imperative to their success. As a father of three, including two little ones, I understand the importance of laying a foundation and setting a precedent for their academic futures. Addressing overcrowding is essential and paramount as our county continues to grow and lead in the state of art, educational facilities, and innovative initiatives. Today is a new day for families and our future leaders in the Turf Valley community. After years of negotiating to relieve the crowded hallways of the past, we can ensure a healthy and vibrant learning environment for our students' future. Again, thank you so much for being here. I want to give a special uh, shout out to the council person whose district we are in, Councilman David Youngman. There he is. As well as the, yes, as well as the superintendent and the Mangione family. Thank you to all who were part of this process. I am thrilled for the groundbreaking of this highly anticipated school that will enhance our communities and our county. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Welcome to District 5. Um, I don't normally uh, take notes, but driving up here, I saw all these important people. I said I better write, better write some stuff down. Um, you know, community leaders and parents in the Turf Valley community and this whole sort of, you know, Turf Valley Waverly community have been advocating for the school for a really long time, since before any of us were in these positions. Um, and it's been a long road, and getting, getting the school built remains a work in progress, as we all know, but securing this site is a huge milestone, and um, it hasn't always been easy. <laughs> it's been surprisingly difficult. So thank you, Dr. Martirano, the Board of Education, Dr. Chow Wu's here, um, Mr. Washington, Mr. Lubley, and everybody. I know there was a lot of issues to work out with this site, and you really hung in there. Um, the county executive ball um, we needed that last two million bucks and allocating prioritizing capital dollars is a brutal process folks and um, really really appreciate getting getting what we needed um, to dr. Opal Jones and council member Christiana Rigby for having our collective backs on what were numerous too many three to two votes that we needed to keep this project from being derailed. Thank you guys very, very much. I appreciate it very much. Um, and to the Mangiones, thanks for hanging in there. Appreciate it. Um, so, you know, now we can focus on getting it built, which you know I will continue to nag everybody about. But between now and then, thank you and enjoy your time in District 5. Thanks. Thank you very much. And uh, I really appreciate it. We have so many people coming here today. People. I was thinking, what's behind this? It's too small, right? It's actually hiding in the forest. Uh, uh, <laughs> so when I look at the map, we have two important areas. You see two really red areas, right? One's right exactly here. We know there are so many crowded schools here. I think this side will definitely help us to relieve the overcrowding in this area. And uh, we know there are a lot of issues we are facing, and uh, some issues I just feel it's take longer than we thought to address. And uh, as long as we find the problem, I really appreciate our county executive, county council, Dr. Jones, and Mr. Youngman, and our state delegate support, and especially our superintendent, Dr. Marirano, his vision to keep everything inside. And we know we need the site. We know we need to build a new school. We are keeping doing that. I hope through this process, try to find the problem, and find the resources and get the collaboration from our county council, county executive, and the state dele delegation, we are able to overcome so many difficulties we are facing now. I know we are in a difficult time, and uh, we always feel there's so much things going on. As long as we work together, I believe we'll be able to find a solution. Education is something everybody cares about. Just look at the over surroundings just houses nearby. I just totally surprised and because I come to this village center for lunch sometimes and not just so many new houses coming up. I feel we just need to keep working and find a solution and uh, I know it's difficult and the road may be not so, so smooth, it may be bumpy, 
But as long as we work together, we will be able to find a solution. I really thank you for your leadership, Dr. Dr. Bo, Dr. Moderano, and the council members. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Um, I'm listening to Dr. Uh, Wu's words, and uh, he was very instructive when he directed all of us to the maps. Uh, I think that's extremely important, as I was thinking about my words today, to take a look at the reality uh, of the problems of which we are encountering in Howard County. Uh, when we think about the amount of growth, we're very proud of our prosperous community, but we're also very challenged by our growth that we need to keep up with our adequate public facilities, which is a major part of that, are our schools. And we all recognize the need to have our children in school, to have a defined seat for them in a school that is not overcrowded, because when we know that what the research tells us is that when we have overcrowded schools, it creates more challenges for the educational process to occur. So I'm very proud, Dr. Ball, thank you for your leadership, Dr. Wu, to the council, to the delegation, uh, and, um, Councilmember Youngman talked about it being a brutal process. Uh, that's a pretty heavy word, right? Uh, I, I will define it as a, an intense process that you cannot let up on. I'm very proud today, working with the Mangione family, that after many years of discussions and debate and conversations, that we now have a forward-thinking, forward-thinking place for a future school and a great community that is forward thinking, that collaborates, identifies the problems and thinks of long-term solutions is the very best that we can expect. And today represents the very best of Howard County collaborative thinking with all of our elected officials, our community members, working diligently, persistently to solve a problem. I feel very, very proud today as a citizen of Howard County, as a superintendent of schools, that we have a road forward and a vision that will allow us to build a school that is defined by the growth patterns that we have in our county. We're actually proactively thinking about this as opposed to reacting. And as stated earlier, it's a multi-pronged process, right? We have to look at our boundaries. We have to look at our capital improvement projects. We have to look at creative programming. And all of that alignment of our vision all works together for the enhancement of our children. And right at the end of the day, isn't that what it's about as our children? So thank all of you, thank our community, our taxpayers, for everyone who's participated in this to make this day a reality. I am so overjoyed. Thank you very much. Thank you, I'll be very brief, but I'm so thrilled that I have to say something because everybody said what needs to be said. I looked at my files and I was working on this land acquisition process in 2004. And I want to thank the current, first of all, I have to say, I have met some of the most wonderful people in those 17 years, the, the people that work and live in Howard County. But I have to say, thank you to the current leadership for getting this done finally, and especially in the last year or so, the things that were done to finalize it. And it's probably knocked back again. So thank you very much for that. Now I want to say is all of us stakeholders should now get together and make sure we're ready, be out here again, when the time's right, which I hopefully, hopefully will be very soon for funding and construction of the Turf Valley Elementary School. Thank you very much.